Pisces, welcome to Ascending Spiritually. This is going to be your end of September reading. Keep in mind that this is general, so that means not all the messages are going to resonate. And if you want something tailored specifically for you, the link to book that reading is in the description box below. That will take you to my website where you can go ahead and book your own reading. So let's see what Pisces have going on for the end of September. What do you need to know? What's most important at this time? King of Wands. Five of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles. Ten of Wands. Six of Wands. Page of Cups. Seven of Pentacles. Princess of Swords. So some of you may be dealing with an earth sign, um, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. If not, you are just focused on the 3D aspects of the world, you know, money, material things, things that you can taste, touch, and see. As the King of Wands is here, it means that you have your eye on either a particular person or you're just very driven and motivated within this time. You know exactly what it is that you want and it's a matter of you making a plan to execute um, whatever it is that you're wanting to attract to yourself. Some of you may have an option between two different individuals. One of these individuals, I feel, may have a tendency of leaving you out in the cold or not necessarily appreciating you, taking you for granted, while another individual um, you don't really communicate as often with. They watch you a lot, possibly through social media, and this is somebody that you've had possibly some arguments or fights with, but overall, I don't see anything major here. Because there is financial issues showing up, be careful of overspending around this time. Right now, um, it's important for you to save for a rainy day because I feel like there could be something that comes up in the future that will require funds from you. And so if you save now, um, you won't really feel much of the burden of having to cough this money up. But if you don't, I feel like it could catch you by surprise. Four of Pentacles is here to show that you also need to focus on your stability, um, not only financial stability, but home stability as well. Ten of Wands means that you're carrying way too many burdens on your shoulders. You may be carrying other people's burdens. You may be, um, you know, showing other people sharing burdens in some type of way. So if you have people that you're working for or people that you're just trying to help, I feel like don't push yourself excessively because you could end up having some type of weight on your shoulders or just like feeling burdened in some type of way. There is a level of... Hmm something going on in your heart space. So I feel like either you're closed off really when it comes to love or you're just holding things close to your chest. So you're not disclosing how you feel. You're not really very open. And it's either because someone previously left you out in the cold and this was somebody that was non-committal. King of Wands is someone who knows what they want. But yes, they may want you one day, but the next month, you know, it could be something completely different. So be sure if you need help to ask others for help. Like don't get in your pride and your ego. It's okay to ask for help. We all need it at some point in time. But I also feel like any goals that you have around this time, you're going to end up finding success in whatever this is, getting that recognition, and also getting the victory that you want. This is the time for you to be selfish, focusing on yourself, um, planting those seeds that you want to bear fruit because I feel like whatever it is that you do now seven months from now is when um, they're going to start to get off the ground so anything that you put your time and effort and into right now within 2021 that's when you're going to start to reap the benefits so use this time wisely that's what I'm seeing and with the princess of cups to the princess of swords some of you may have children one to two kids if you don't have children um, this is just in love having options and you need you need to decide who's going to be best for you you may have a choice between a air sign and a water sign but overall um, i feel you just focusing mostly on you and having people around you that are looking up to you in some type of way having some type of like platform so if you have let's say a youtube channel if you have um anything where people are watching you there's going to be success in this. You just have to be consistent with it. At first, it's going to be slow and steady. But if you keep putting in that time and dedication, it's going to pay out in the end. So let me get another deck. That way I can get some additional messages. Okay, what do Pisces need to know around this time? Okay, that was fast. The Sun, Five of Cups, the Tower, Queen of Cups. 
So yeah, you're very loving and very nurturing. And I feel like some, if you're not that way or you feel closed off, it's because of your environment and the people that you're around. They may not be very receptive to you. And so it makes you feel the need to kind of close off. Um, but with the Five of Cups, yeah, there's something that you're still grieving. There's some type of major changes that are going on right now internally within you. And it's causing you to feel some type of sadness, pain, grief. This is grieving something that's already been lost. But what it's showing me is that it, this situation can still be salvaged if both parties put in the time, the effort, and dedication. So someone here brings you happiness. There's someone around you that you feel um, is very tender with you, someone that you feel cares about you deeply. And this is someone that's scared that you're going to end up betraying them or vice versa. You're afraid that this person is going to end up betraying you in some type of way. So you're almost like wanting to end the connection prematurely to avoid heartbreak. And you cannot operate in the energy of fear because whatever it is that you put out, that's what you're going to end up attracting to yourself. So the best thing that you can do is have best case scenario in your mind when it comes to all situations. Yes, if it doesn't end up working out that way, it will bring a level of disappointment. But the way manifestation works is whatever you put out, you get that same energy in return. It just may not be at the time in which you think you're going to get it. Two of Wands is here to show some of you may be traveling, thinking about traveling, um, wanting to either move as well. And I feel like with the King of Wands, if you do have an option between two people, I would choose the person that you have um, good communication with, the person that you're able to talk to wholeheartedly without you know having any boundaries listen to your heart and choose the person that you feel is going to be loving and nurturing and caring and compassionate to you because that's the energy that you put out so you want somebody who's going to be aligned in that same vibration the tower is here to show that if you end up spending too much money around this time yeah it's going to end up backfiring so be careful you don't want to have something happen unexpected that you don't see coming because the tower is always destructive energy yes at first it's destructive but it usually brings the necessary change that's required to move forward the chariot is here to show that you are moving forward fast and furiously towards your destiny or towards whatever goal that you may have you just need to have a blueprint um, that can tell you or show you, you know, what the next steps are. It's going to help if you can have some type of visual aid. So if it's not like a vision board, a planner, you need to kind of get your plans out of your head and down into paper because it's going to make it a lot easier to see, you know, what do you need to do, what more is expected of you, things of that manner. There's someone from the past that you haven't quite gotten over. This is somebody that pushed you out. It may even be the mother of your child or the father of your child there's a lot of resentment and hurt that's still um lingering around that and you will not be able to move forward entirely until you address whatever those hurts may be because the ten of swords is here it shows me that someone was selfish if it's not you it's the person that you were connected to they're very selfish and they possibly still are selfish and this is somebody that betrayed you over and over and over again they caused you heartbreak and pain and sorrow and with the two of wands, you had to kind of choose a new direction away from this person. You may not have wanted to, but ultimately, even if you're not with this individual from the past, there's somebody else around you that's interested, and you just have to be able to let this person in. Um, and, but I do see you as being very guarded, maybe even communicating a bit harshly. So try not to, you know, lash out at anyone. I know that's easier said than done, but at the same time... Um, I see you taking action towards the things that you want in life. So let me get a oracle deck to get you some additional messages. What do Pisces need to know for the end of September? Learning, alternative, ruminate, and reliable. Okay. So sleep is upside down. Either you're having sleeping issues or there's an emphasis on you needing to pay attention to your dreams or the messages that you get when you are in that dream state. When it comes to learning, you kind of need to be open to learning um, new things because it's saying that there has to be an alternative in your life. Yes, you may have thought things were going to go a certain way, but this is showing me that the universe has a better path in store for you. The, the more you resist it, the harder it's going to be for you to transition. So with Ruminate, you really need to think about, you know, what do I want out of life? Do I like to make music? Am I cr um, creative? 
Do I want to be an entrepreneur? What do I see myself doing in the long term that's going to make me happy? And start taking steps to move forward towards whatever that may be. With reliability being here, some of you have an issue being reliable. This just may be like the energy of you constantly being late. Um, but I feel like it leaves a bad taste in other people's mouth because it almost makes them feel like you don't value their time or their efforts. I know that's not necessarily true, but there has to be the energy of reliability, um, especially when you're working with other people because it shows them that, you know, not only do they respect you, but you have to, you know, kind of give that same amount of respect back. Some of you have been dealing with people that are just not reliable, and you have to be able to realize that these are just characteristics, characteristics that they have. Um, and that it's hard to change somebody that's already embedded in the way that they feel or in something that they've been doing for, for a long time. So sometimes it's hard to unlearn habits and bad behaviors, but I feel like with you, reliability is something that is going to be important. So make sure that you're prompt in any appointments that you may have, especially with other people. That way, you know, it doesn't leave a bad taste in their mouth. So that's what I'm seeing so far from my Pisces. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and see you soon. Bye.